And now we're not at all. See what happens here? The video switches itself on. So, the, so the apparently the guides want us to work and not chat. So oh, okay. video just came on, on, on its own, saves me the hustle of going there. Oh, nice. Hello and welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you are watching Thomas' Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. I have a guest reader this once that a lot of people that have followed the channel for quite some time know very well because I think it's the sixth or seventh time that you're mm -hmm. on the channel. It's my friend Jane Arnold. You will find all the information about Jane and about you know readings and stuff in the description box below. So if you want a personal reading with Jane, find her. If you want a personal reading with me, find me <laughs> in the description box below. What we will gonna, what we're gonna do here, we will look at the overall energy for the month of November for the sign of Gemini, before we then look into your emotional core, see if there's love coming in or healing that needs to happen, and then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of November 2023. Okay, so without further ado, now let's have a look at the overall energy for your very sign. Lovely, so the overall energy for you, we have shower of abundance and listen. Um, this is very much about finances. It, it can be abundance in, in many other ways, but this for me is very much about finances. Um, it's a little bit about watch your finances this month. Um, sometimes you can go out on a whim and spend more than you should do. And this is about pulling back a little bit, being a little bit careful with your money, with your finances. Listen to your gut and your gut instincts and your gut feelings about this. Um, you, you, you find it difficult to make decisions sometimes and it's very much about do listen to your gut do you really need to spend that money do you really want to spend that money is it something that that is worth buying if you feel no leave your money in your pocket in your purse don't do it um, there's a rainy day I'm, I'm getting being told there's a rainy day um, so you need to keep that money by for something else okay and it's interesting because as a sign, Gemini, you're the sign of the twin. And the idea is always in the in the origin story, how your sign came about, is basically about two brothers. And um, one was made with a goddess, so he's immortal, and the other one was made with a human. Um, right? Um, so very modern. Mm. <laughs> the point is, one was immortal, the other one was not. And so, um, because the immortal one wanted to make sure he can be with his brother forever, Zeus, who was the father of the two, turned him into the brightest stars in your constellation, Castor and Pollux. The point is, what Zeus could not do is to make your twin immortal. What he did was is to say, look, you know, I can get you off Earth, you go into the heavens and you can spend 10 million years before your brother burns out. Now, this is the origin story of Gemini. How that then translates is that a part of you is missing that inner voice, that inner guidance that your beloved brother, symbolically, um, would have given you. And you do not need that inner voice because you're way more aware of what you need than you realize, right? So don't look into like, oh, I'm getting nervous here, I don't know what to do, and just go like, number one, do I really need this? If I now buy this, what does that do? So if you're a bit more logical about this, a bit more analytical about this, you will notice that, you know, you don't need someone to say, like, don't bloody buy it. Or, or someone says, oh, you know, money always comes back, buy it. That kind of stuff, right? So what I'm getting is you, you feel oftentimes on your own when it comes to decision making. It is an imprint, Gemini, that you just have. And so understanding... Um, rather than judging yourself on it is really really important okay so now we're looking at your emotional core before we do i am currently an executive contributor for a magazine called brains um, which is uh, a great magazine it's all about empowerment so there's stuff that they do you know in, in a magazine about entrepreneurship and how to get from a to b but there's also uh, an awful lot of therapists on there you know people that do the counseling, all that kind of stuff, and they handpick their executive contributors uh, based on their feeling that they're knowledgeable. And they contacted me and asked me to write for them, and, you, and I have published already um, three um, articles 
all in the mindfulness section um, and it is totally free um, so there's no money in there if you, if you click on it um, and I put the link in the description box below because obviously there we can share more that we can't, cannot put necessarily into um, a reading here on, 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 on video um, and it's very empowering if that makes sense please check it out and now we're looking at your um, emotional core when it comes to your emotional core you have Saturn of all the planets in our own Milky Way Milky Way is chocolate isn't it? I'm feeling like it I should is. probably just <laughs> get some chocolate anyway not plugging Milky Way but if you want to send me a box get in touch already, <laughs> already the there you go right, anyway so of all the planets that we have three of these planets can't pronounce the H three of these planets <laughs> are known as spiritual teachers. Saturn is one of them. Saturn deals with karma and structure. And what Saturn is saying to you when it comes to your emotional core is to do less. Don't chase anyone. If you feel that the shit hit the fan already and you just now find, you know, um, I want to fix this, this is not the month for you. You do less. That doesn't mean you, you become reclusive and don't sort stuff. But this is not the month for you to go after things. Now, I'm not being shown here specifics, which means what that normally means is sometimes I know there's love coming in, other times I know there's healing that needs to happen. This is quite generic, right? But the point is that Saturn is a, is a spiritual teacher. So always trust your intuition. How do I really feel about this? And then you do what you need to do, right? But ultimately, should there be pain that needs to go let it go but don't force it if there is love coming in take it slowly that is the message of saturn and the message for your emotional core this very month the month of november 2023 and now we're looking at the overall energy for the months ahead now you already noticed that you already talked about finances mm -hmm. which is oftentimes the opportunities that's what the guides do you know we try to separate so it's easy to understand and then they sort of Boycott us here a little. Thanks, guys. Anyway, here's the overall energy as so the um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of November for the sign of the twin Gemini. We have relationship and we have time to go. And this is very much about you coming out of your shell. This is very much about you coming out, um, looking at things in a different perspective and a different way rather than the way that you have been doing of late it seems uh, um, and feels that you've just sort of put yourself in a little, little cocoon protected yourself a little bit and this is like now we need to get back out we need to get out there we need to show the world and say hey i'm here i'm back and it's very much do it now don't keep putting that off once you've done that you will feel better within yourself there's a feeling um of it, it's, I don't feel right within myself and the more you feel that the more that you're hiding yourself away take those steps take those opportunities get out there don't say no if somebody invites you for something say yes and you'll feel glad that you did and remember energetically speaking this clashes a little with your emotional core mm. which is typical Gemini yeah. because you have these two sides and you're missing your twin you might be conflicted yourself about what to do. So go with the flow, but trust your intuition. Really, really important because we came here with free will. And all we're doing here is to give you the guidance that the guide want to impart. Right? So everything here is just guidance based on the energies that are flowing in a certain months. And then if it resonates for you, you do just that. Yeah. Right? So um, there's no right or wrong, if that makes sense. Um, but I just noticed how that will be difficult for Gemini because now, you know, the guide said do less yeah. and then you said go out, if that makes yeah. sense, which is not uncommon, you know, but what that means is someone could give you a ticket for a gig and you're getting all dressed up and kind of go, yeah, I'm going to let my hair down. Ugh. Obviously, I'm a heavy metal guy, so I'm doing, so this is, uh, and then you you know, you say to your friend, yeah, can you pick me up? The friend is on the way and you kind of go like, oh, I don't feel it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which is Gemini energy. Yeah. And it's not that you're indecisive. It's more like, mm, do I feel it or not? So there's sometimes in Gemini, going with the flow doesn't always come easy to you. And so 
The point here is, you know, with that scenario of buying a ticket and then your friends already on the way. Yes, if you don't feel it, say to your friends, thanks for spending some money on bloody petrol. I'm not going. Mm. <laughs> but what I'm getting is, rather than, um, you know, sort of awkwardly decline, if you already felt, yeah, I should be going tonight, ask yourself, why is that changing? Is it me? I haven't been there yet. Maybe there's nothing negative coming to you. So the point is, I necessarily speak in Gemini, it's always the same with your, with your sign. Whatever thought comes in first is very likely the thought to follow up on. Mm -hmm. Okay? Gemini, that's all we got. Please like, subscribe and share because that really helps the channel out. If you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. So, Jane, thank you so much. Thank you. And I see you all next month. And remember, subscribe because there's tons of videos that have to do with November that are really, really important. Like the new moon and the full moon and the special offer and all that kind of stuff. So don't snooze on it. Do it now. Okay, see you next month. Bye-bye.